हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ट्रिपल ई ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टुडे आवर वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन कंट्रोल सिस्टम रिलेटेड इंडस्ट्रियल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर व्हिच आर जनरली यूज्ड इन एनी इंटरव्यू व्हेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर जॉब्स सो दिस फाइव क्वेश्चन वी विल कवर इन डेप्थ व्हाट इज द पीआईडी कंट्रोलर मीनिंग व्हाट इज द ओपन लूप कंट्रोल व्हाट इज द क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द पीएलसी इट इज आल्सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आर आस्क एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द पीएलसी सो दिस फाइव क्वेश्चन वी विल कवर दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द कंट्रोल सिस्टम रिलेटेड वी विल ऑल्सो कवर एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू कंट्रोल सिस्टम प्लीज यू कैन कमेंट एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ऑल्सो please watch this video till the end so this is our the first question which is what is the pid controller then first we will talk about what is the meaning of the pid or full form of the pid so p means proportional okay p means proportional i means integral and d means derivative so this is the full form of the pid so it is actually controller which regulate or which control the process parameter the process parameter may be temperature may be flow or may be pressure so the pid is a controller which is actually installed or configured in a plc id controller are also available in market which you can ins installed uh in your plant and you can regulate or control your process parameters so you in plc you have seen the parameter the control gain kp is used for proportional ki is used for integral and kd is used for derivative so generally when you control your process parameter then two parameter are used and one parameter will be zero it is generally used so you use of the each parameter to control the rise time okay rise time to control the settling time okay error control and also to control the overshoot of the signal so these are the four main part is main part of the pid controller to maintain the process parameter in a desired point so this is the meaning of the pid controller now the second part is what is the open loop so what is the open loop when this is your line okay and here one pt means one pressure transmitter 101 is installed and there is a line where one tt 101 is installed and your flow is going to any tank where one lt 101 is installed but what flow is coming through this line to this tank is not controlled by any wall I mean, this is the control wall or manual wall is installed, where some operator is operating through one hand wheel is also installed. We have seen in our P and I D section what is the symbol of the hand wheel and what is the symbol of the walls. So operator is operating this wall to maintain the level of this tank, but there is no any loop, so closed loop. so means there is no uh, the pt signal is going to your plc but the plc controller is not uh, get going to control any wall position okay wall position any pfd speed bfd speed and other parameters so it is actually open loop means the plc is getting value from the tt or pt or lt but on the behalf of the value of the pt tt and lt plc controller is not giving any output value to the field for operating ball for operating the bfd so this is the open loop now 
we will talk about what is the closed loop control so in a closed loop we have one tank okay this is the tank 101 okay and there is one line which is supply line okay supply line from base some water or some liquid form or fluid is coming into this tank and there is one drain line is also okay this is the drain line whenever we want to water from this tank then the drain line is used so in a drain line one wall is also installed it may be auto wall or it may have some manual hand wheel okay this is the n1 wall control wall lg1 lv101 is installed in this line a1lt101 is installed to measure the level of this tank okay the level of this tank so this lt and this lv is connected through plc or is connected through any controller this is the controller pid controller this is the pid controller okay or it may have some plc where pid itself configured in program and here we have provided the level is high level is 90 and low level is 10 so this wall will maintain always level between 10 to 90 okay so what will happen whenever the level 10 is detected then this wall will start to open to fill this tank and whenever the level 90 is detected then this uh, controller will give command to this wall to close position or to stop this flow okay so this is the meaning of the closed loop means your level controller or your sensor is closed loop with the final control element so generally in a closed loop you can measure you can control or regulate your flow through the line or you can control the level of this tank so this is the meaning of the closed loop your lt and lv or similar way your temperature and your temperature wall may have in a closed loop and also your pt and pv may have in a closed loop and also your uh, apt flow transmitter and flow wall is also in a closed loop so this is the actually meaning of the closed loop now next point is very important what are the different component of the plc so it depends on what type of plc you are using so in your own five question five number of the questions where we will talk about types of the plc but here we are talking about the rack type of plc so if this is the rack of your plc then its component the first component is very important the power supply power supply which is very important to provide the power to the discharges and to ios okay this is the power supply then your controller this is the brain of your plc then your communication card communication card so this is your communication card to maintain if there is any other chases is available in your uh, system okay then your communication card will communicate to your controller to that rack so this is your communication card then your card analog input card analog output card or di card or do card 
सो दीज आर द पार्ट ऑफ द पी एल सी और कंपोनेंट ऑफ द पी एल सी बट ओके समाइम यू मे हैव वन रिडेंडेंसी कार्ड इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल रिडेंडेंसी वाई रिडेंडेंसी इज यूज वेन एवर यू हैव सम अदर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक द रिडेंडेंसी ऑफ दीज टू रैक्स दैन सम इन सम अदर रैक द कंट्रोलर इज इंस्टॉल्ड एंड फोर मेंटेनिंग द रिडेंडेंसी ऑफ कंट्रोलर द रिडेंडेंसी कार्ड इज यूज रिडेंडेंसी कम्युनिकेशन कार्ड इज यूज वेन एवर दिस चेजेज ऑफ दिस कंट्रोलर इज फेल्ड and then your uh, redundancy module will transfer the total control of this chassis to the another chassis so this is actually uh, you may have some ai redundancy is all also applied in some uh, companies your uh, di redundancy is also and do redundancy also is applied but whenever you are going for in a redundancy in your plc then you will require a a lot of cost so cost wise if you are going for redundancy then your cost will be increased but your system reliability will be improved and uh, whenever there is any fault in didio then your system will not stop and same your process will not disturb so cost wise also you can save the money of your company with the help of the redundancy so this is the different type of the component of the plc now the next part of what are the types of the plc so generally when we talk about the types of the plc generally three types of the plc first is modular type plc okay modular type plc second is your compact type plc compact type okay and third your rack type plc so generally three types of plc so we have seen in a rack type plc modular and compact type plc now one by one we will compare and also we will talk about what are the advantage and disadvantage of each plc so in a modular type plc you can extend your ios in a unlimited means in a modular type plc your uh, io can be increased the first and also your cpu controller means your power supply your zios card and your communication card can be installed in single rack the modular type of the plc are also available on a different different size it depends on the io's numbers and also the memory of the controller okay memory size so in a compact type plc you don't have any possibility to increase the ios and because it has a simple plc which have di do ai is given and also some tv connection is also provided on a in a compact type plc so you cannot add external io card and also you cannot increase the ios so this is the compact type plc whenever you are going for um, install the plc in a single type of uh, project means where the ios are limited and also ios are less number then you can go for compact type plc the cost of the compact type plc is also very less so when you have any package system where you can install the compact type plc so rack type plc is very popular because of this uh, facility which is extended means you can increase x ios card unlimited and also it has some redundancy facilities and a simple rack is used to assemble all the ios card all the controller card all the communication card all the power supply card which we have seen in our last question where all the cards are assembled in a single 
rack so this is the rack type of the plc so these these three types of the plc are generally used in our industry so these are the our five question which we have covered which are generally asked any instrumentation interview so if you are new on our youtube channel then please subscribe and also press the bell icon and also like this video and if you want to know more information related to instrumentation and electrical then you can also comment us and thank you very much for watching this video till the end